my lovelies. I am Mandy and this is Mandy IRL, my YouTube channel where I talk about makeup and art and hobbies and interests and real life stuff like decorating and exercising and whatever strikes my fancy. Arts and crafts will even come up. So today's video is going to be about makeup. Um, so let me um, scooch up here. Okay, get myself comfortable. All right, so I recently discovered makeup panning and I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't have a huge makeup collection, so, um, but I am tempted to buy more. I've recently bought, gone online and bought makeup that I probably don't need, but I really want it. Um, so this is a great way to use up the makeup I have and other body products because there's more coming in and I gotta use what I have and how many people buy makeup and don't use it. So I found out about a Facebook group called the Pantastic Ladies Collab Group on Facebook. Um, I will leave a link to, the, to their Facebook group in the description and I'll try and pin it in the comments. I'm really not very good at that but I will try and remember that. And this challenge what is called This Is Fantasy. It's a fantasy themed, mythological themed um, panning project. And I thought it sounded right up my alley because for those of you who don't know me, I have been a long time gamer. I have another YouTube channel that is no longer active but it still has videos on it and it's called Dragon Feathers. Um, and so my, um, sorry, I just put makeup on and I, I'm not happy with it. My mascara is sticky and it's bugging me. Um, that's in another video, which should be out already, um, my mini clearance haul. But anyway, um, I am a fan of dragons and fantasy literature and movies and things and video games and such. So I thought this would be a perfect way to get into panning and this way help me learn how to use up the things I have and give me motivation and just a great way to collab with people. So the creator of the challenge, I'm looking over here at my notes, I should bring my notes over. I'm, I'm not a noob at this, really I'm not. Well yes I am. Um, okay, the as I organized, the creator of this um, panning project is called Allie from um, Wonder in Alley Land, and I will have her link down in the description and the comments as well. Um, this is a year-long challenge, so it started October 11th. I'm a little bit late. Let me just tell you, I'm a little bit late, but it it, it goes until October 11th of 2022. So got plenty of time. <laughs> no rush. Um, it is updated every other month. Um, but if you want to see monthly updates, let me know. And yeah, it's a great way with prompts to use up products in our collection. So um, we are to pick a product from the list of prompts. And each prompt uh, creature is a creature and it has a description of the product and a description of the creature, which I didn't write down, but I wrote down the description of the products. And it's rolling style, so you can start with as many or as few as you want, and you can add them in when you want or swatch them. It's a, it's a thing. So it looks like out of the out of the list of 21 prompts of creatures, I am starting with 10. So it should be okay. It's a variety of products, so we should be okay. So I'm going to start with the top of the list. The first thing on the list is Basilisk. And if you've seen Harry Potter, you know what a Basilisk is. Uh, you know, big snake creature. And the product for this is a dark matte eyeshadow. Or dark, yeah, dark matte shadow. I mean, I guess it has to be a man. So I have this mini city palette from Maybelline. Yes. And this is the Concrete Runway. I don't believe it's available anymore because I went online to look and it's I couldn't find it. Um, but they still make the city mini palettes. They're just not this colorway. So this is a lovely little blue-green. And I'm going to work on whoop, this color right here, the matte black. Um, I've already made a little dent in it, but you can see I hit pan on this one here, which is a neutral gray. And it's a very loose 
and the white is also very loose but the black is a very firm color let's get a little swatch I have other makeups on my hand sorry okay it is just a nice matte black um, so and that and I you can set your own um, usage goal and then when that goal is reached you can swap it out for either something a new category or I guess the same category if you want in a new product um, I am going to use this until I hit pan so pan meaning when you can see the bottom of the package the bottom of the little metal thing it's in so I'm, I'm excited this is the first one I've ever used enough to have that happen <laughs> so um, I'm looking forward to using that black shadow um, and I like black I use it all the time so it's one of my favorite shadows and this is uh, one of my favorite palettes I'm not wearing it right now but we'll talk about what I am wearing shortly um, actually right now um, the next one I picked is Cyclops is a single shadow one eye basically and this is a brand new product to me um, I just talked about in my clearance haul and this is the L'Oreal infallible uh, eyeshadow pot in midnight blue and there you can see the color I'm trying to figure out my lighting so bear with me there we go it's a beautiful dark metallic blue um, it is what I'm wearing as a base on this eye and there is the product I'm gonna try and use that 20 times and I think that'll be no problem I love using blue eyeshadow um, and since this is new to me and I I'm still learning how to use it um, and what goes with it that'll be nice that'll be a good choice for me so I'm gonna use that 20 times in the next year or you know whatever and then when I'm done using it for 20 times we'll, we'll pick something else the next one is my favorite dragon which surprisingly is a large product because um, I am a dragon I mean that's just my persona is dragon feathers so a large product and I I really didn't know what to pick so I picked the largest body product I have which isn't that big um, but it's the biggest body lotion I have so I figured what the heck it's easy to get through and this is from Humankind Skincare with a Conscience. And this is Body Souffle in cream, Creme Souffle. And I don't know, does it smell like creme, creme Souffle? It's not even open. I got this like in Fit, Fab Fit Fun or something. And just added it to my collection of... I rounded up. I've been decluttering and cleaning. And I found I have a lot of things that I've never used. Okay. This top does not want to come off. Okay. You're not going to let me cheat it. I just want to smell it. Okay, well, it's a body lotion. It is 6.76 uh, fluid ounces or 200 milligrams. Um, yeah, I should have no problem finishing this. And, you know, we all need a little body lotion. And I want to use up the whole thing. So, to me, that is really big. It's as big as my head. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm using for that. The next product on the list is e.l.f. And that is a product that makes you feel beautiful. And mm, the first thing that came to my mind was my highlighter because it's the first highlighter I've ever owned. I got this, I believe, in an Ipsy. I'm 99% sure it was from I I Ipsy. And it is from Real Her and it is called Confidence in My Glow. And it is a, like I said, beautiful highlighter. It is the only highlighter I've ever owned, so I'll probably have more in the future. But it is the first highlighter I've ever owned, and every time I put it on, I just feel like I'm like I'm glowing from within. Um, I'm actually wearing it today, but very sparingly because lighting, and it's hard to tell. <laughs> um, but yeah, I want to use this until I hit pan. Yes, until I can see a a. a see the bottom of that package and that's probably gonna be a while um, I don't know how much is in here but I'm guessing it's probably quite a bit and you don't use a lot of highlighter so yes that's that next is fairy which is a plant or nature themed product 
which can for me could be a lot of things because I have a lot of things. I burps bees, lip balms, which is honey, so that's nature themed. Um, but I, I was actually getting this for something else, and then I thought this looks really cute. Wait, is this the right one? Yes, I was getting this out for Leprechaun, something I'd have luck with because it's so small. But then I realized it's plant based, and this is a hemp's pure herbal extracts uh triple moisture herbal whipped body cream so a little hemp body cream um i have used a little bit of it i believe as you can see it's not completely full so i believe this is a little bit i've used and this also came from some box maybe fab fit fun i'm not sure i don't remember um but yeah, I thought that would be a nice one and I can use it up rather quickly and then move on to another prompt or any of it, another natural thing product. So we're definitely going to empty that. Um, so that's two body products. Um, next up is, where to go? A gemstone or mineral themed product. And this is another new one to me. I have quite a few new products um, and some old products. And I have new stuff coming in. So this I just, just, just bought like day before yesterday. Um, but it was also on clearance. And this is from L'Oreal. It's Galaxy Lumiere Holographic Lip Gloss. It's a beautiful shade. And this is in Sapphire Star. And I thought this would be nice. It's also my first lip gloss that I can remember. I mean, like, at this age, I probably had lip glosses when I was a teen. But this is the first lip gloss I've had this age. And I want to use half of it. So we'll have to make marks. And um, I want to use half of it. I'm not going to weigh it because I don't have a scale. But I will definitely mark the, the mark it and so that we can get half half use. It's about there. The best we can. Um, hopefully we'll be able to see through it. But it is this beautiful... Uh, what hand am I swatching on? This one. I'm ambidextrous. Um, it's a beautiful, slightly blue tinted, but almost clear gloss with a little bit of shimmer. It's so... I think it's beautiful. I put it on yesterday over a lipstick I'm going to talk about shortly and I I love it. It's beautiful. I love it and it, I'm going to marry it. That's, that's, all, that's all there is to it. Um, yeah, but I, I hope, I don't know how much lip gloss I'm going to go through so I figured getting through half of it would be good and then if I decide to finish the whole thing then that's fine too. Um, and then next... We have Unicorn, a brand new untouched product. So it's nearly untouched. I just demoed, I just used it for the first time in another um, video to do this makeup look. And it is a NYX uh, Epic Wear liner, st uh, liner stick in pure white. Yes, pure white. And... I want to, I was thinking this is a, a, a sharp a wooden pencil, but it's not. So, let me get the cap off. Isn't, oh, maybe it is. NYX keeps do, doing these things where the pencils look like they're like retractable types and they're not, they're actually sharpenable. Um, okay, so this is a sharpenable one. Um, I also have a silver li liner like this and I couldn't figure out how to sharpen it and then finally I went online and it's actually wood, but it feels like it's plastic. Anyhow, it's sharpenable, whether it's plastic or wood, but I want to use ha half of it. So it's brand new, the whole thing, and then again, we're going to we're gonna get it, I'm going to measure it and mark it down to half. And yeah, hopefully within the challenge I'll be able to use that. I got it for using on my waterline. Um, cause I have small eyes and I figured it would help. And I think so. I think I'm going to enjoy using that. Um, next up we have vampire. Um, yes. I don't know why I growled, but it's a vampire. 
So vampire, and I decided to go with a nail polish because I have this nail polish I need to use up. I'm not going to use it up in during the challenge because it's uh it's full. It's like uh, barely a smidge used. Um, but this is from Avon Speed Dry Nail Enamel. It's a few years old too. Um, and it is in the color Vamp It Up. So that is a blood red. Yeah, I forgot to say, the the prom, the product prompt is a blood red product. Um, and to me, blood red is this. It's really dark, almost black red. And this is called Vamp It Up. So, and I thought that was fitting because it's vampire themed. And, um, yeah, I'll probably paint my nails right after this video. Or maybe tomorrow because it's getting kind of late. But I'm going to use that up. Um, I'm not going to use it up. I'm going to use it 20 times during the challenge, so I will have to mark down every time I use it. And, uh, yeah, that should be, put a good dent in it, at least. And then we have, we have, we have the werewolf, and that is a celestial-themed um, product. And I happen to have the perfect palette. The Galaxy Chic, or sh Cheek, Chick whatever I call galaxy chic some people say galaxy chick um, palette from BH cosmetics BH is one of my favorites and I have more BH cosmetics coming soon um, but since it's a werewolf and these are all celestial bodies um, you know it's the galaxy and I thought I would use the shade over here moon because it's the moon and it's a werewolf on a full moon um, Yes, and it, it, it turns into a lovely metallic gray, and I am going to use it 20 times. I thought about using it to pan, but like I just, I just got this palette a while ago, and I barely touched any of them, or at least I've used them, but they're baked shadows, so they're kind of hard, and it's just, but it's just this beautiful, can you see that shine? It's just this beautiful metallic white gray silver color. It'll go great with the black and the blue. Perfect. <laughs> I color coordinate these things. It's a plan. And then finally, my last thing. I was going to do something magic themed. Um, This could be magic themed. We'll see. But I just discovered it's falling apart, sort of. Um, so that is one of the last prompts is a zombie, something that is falling apart, and it is this lipstick. I cannot tell you what the brand is. I, well, hold on. Nope. <laughs> I was like, maybe I can read it. Um, it, it, it's worn off. It is in the color green, but it's not green. It is one of those magic, this is why I was thinking magic themed. So it could be both magic themed or zombie, but it is one of those color changing lipsticks. So it in the tube, it is green, but when you put it on, uh, it is this beautiful pink color, um, but it is broken and the bullet keeps falling out. Um, so there's that much left, and I figure I could probably use it all up. I'm going to try and see if I can get it back in there. Um, so it seems to be in there pretty good. Um, but Okay, maybe it's not a zombie anymore. Now, it, now I think I got it back in, in the holder, so it's not a zombie anymore. Scratch everything I said. This is my magic theme <laughs> So this is going to be for Witch Wizard, my magic themed product, because it is magic. It is green in the tube, but pink on your lips. Let me see if I can put it on. Um, I do have a lip product on already. So I don't think it's going to do much. But it reacts to your skin, and it just, it's, it, it's this gorgeous... Ah, which way to go? It's this gorgeous pink color, which I, uh, ooh, I nicked the top of it, which I wore with this lip gloss, and I thought it looked 
stunning. Show you on my hand. So can't really see. Uh, where's the shine? Yeah, it just it's a nice shine with a little hint of blue. I don't know. I liked it. And so those are the, <laughs> those are the things I've added to this project so far. There are 21 prompts in all, so this is only 10 products. Um, so I have more products I can bring in, and yeah, I hope you enjoy it. I will have another, up, I have my first update, this is the intro, and then we'll have my first update two months from now, a month, two months from now, in November. No, December, in December. Um, unless you guys tell me otherwise and say that you want to see one monthly. But yes, thank you. Um, once again, I will link as much information in the description as I can. And also I will pin it in the comments. My lips are changing color slowly because it's soaking through my other lip products. Um, but yes, thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Ah, you can see all the makeup on the back of my hands. Um, and if you want to, to see more, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so y YouTube will tell you when I upload a video because otherwise you have to guess or just watch YouTube every day constantly like I do. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I will see you in my next video, which hopefully will be soon. Okay. Take care. Bye.